South Korea is a good option to continue your education. There are plenty of reasons to choose it. Internationally recognized degrees, a hub of innovation and technology advancement, the tuition and living costs are affordable for international students, and you have permission to work during your studies. Not to mention the employment opportunities in the second strongest economy in Asia. But what are the visa rules? Watch this video to find out. Hi, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library. In this video, you will learn all about South Korea student visa. Before I begin, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. There is also a free cheat sheet. Download it from the Visa Library article from the link in the description. It's helpful along the way. Let me tell you this. If your course in Korea is up to 90 days and you're among visa-waived countries, you don't need a student visa. You can complete your course by entering the country with your passport. But if the course is longer than 90 days, you'll have to apply for a visa. There are different types of student visa. Visit the Visa Library article to know them and find out which one to apply for. To get a student visa, you must get admission to a Korean university or college, Seoul National University, Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, Sang Yung Kwan University, Yonsei University, Ulsan National Institute of Science and Technology, Puhang University of Science and Technology. These are some of the most famous and high-ranking universities in South Korea. Visit the university website and find the program you want to apply for. Find out what the requirements are. Remember that the program must be relevant to your previous studies, work experience, and CV. When you find the requirements, fulfill them and apply to the university. Then wait for the Certificate of Admission, COA. The, the, the international education team will issue it at Korea University. Once you get it, apply for a student visa. How? Keep watching. You need a D2 visa to study in Korea. Short-term visa, such as B-type or C-type visa, are not acceptable. These visas don't allow foreigners to take academic programs at a university in Korea. Now, you need to gather the list of documents. Here is a list of them. Number one is the application form. You can get it from the link in the Visa Library article. Number two is your passport and one copy of the passport ID page. It is the page with your photo. Number three is a passport sized photo, 3.5 cm by 4.5 cm dimension with white clear background. It must be taken within the past six months. Number four is the certificate of admission issued by the international education team at Korea University. I have already explained how to get this from the university. Number five is the application fee, which is 60 to 90 US dollars. It is up to the type of visa and your nationality. You might have to pay more. Number six is the ID card. You need ID card in the residing country. Number seven is the certificate of KU business registration. It is needed for KU international education team applicants. Number eight is invitation letter from National Institute for International Education of Korea. If you have a scholarship or funds from a Korean university, you're gonna need this document. Number nine is the certificate of completion for Korean language training. It is when the course is in Korean and you have to prove your language proficiency. Number 10 is the TB test certificate. If you are from the 19 countries that need a test entering South Korea, you can find the list of them in the visa library article from the link in the description again. Number 11 is additional requirements by your nationality. 21 countries need to submit further documents. You can find the list of them in the, in the visa library article again. If you're on this list, the Korean embassy asks for further documents. You can expect a longer processing time for these countries as well. So, apply as early as possible. Number 12 is the final academic credentials. A postal or confirmation from the Korean embassy or consulate located in the country you live in is needed. For Chinese nationals, documents from the China Credentials Verification is needed. Number 13 is the proof of paid tuition. Number 14 is the bank statement for 20,000 US dollars to cover expenses. You also need to have enough to cover your tuition. The available fund must be enough to cover your experiences for one year. 
If you have a scholarship, subtract the amount from the available fund. Number 15 is a copy of your educational certificates. Number 16 is a clean record certificate from the police in your home country. This was the list of documents. You'd better check the list of documents with the Korean embassy or consulate in your home country before applying for the visa. You should ensure there isn't any additional documents required for the application. Now, you need to schedule a visa meeting with the Korean embassy in your home country. Go to the meeting on the scheduled date and bring the complete list of documents. Visa processing comes with a fee. You need to pay it to the embassy. So, ask about the application fee and how they will get it. Submit the documents to the officials when you meet them. Then, answer their questions regarding the purpose of your visit. In the end, you should wait for visa processing. It takes some time and it is up to your nationality and whether you have submitted a complete list of documents or not. When your visa is ready, the embassy informs you to pick it up and enter South Korea. Congratulations on your studies in, Co in Korea! The Korean Embassy will issue a D-22 visa under the name of the Korea University. If your visa is incorrectly issued like D-21, D-23 or other things, you need to contact the Embassy and correct your visa type. Now, let's say you are already in Korea with a valid visa. Can you apply for a student visa? The answer is yes. But you may not change this visa to a student visa. 1. Group Tourism 2. Medical tourism, 3. General tourism, 4. Industrial training, 5. Non professional employment, 6. Vessel crew, 7. Miscellaneous visa. Otherwise, you can apply for a student visa inside the country. You must apply for a student visa and an alien registration card, ARC, at once at Sejongo Immigration Office. You must visit the immigration website, Hi Korea, and make an online reservation for a visit to Sejongo Immigration Office. Get the link from the description box again. Remember that late application after the beginning of the semester may lead to a fine. It is extremely difficult to visit Sejongo Immigration Office after the classes start. The Korean officials guide you on changing your status to a student visa. But you must try to get a student visa at the Korean consulate or embassy in your home country before getting to the country. The Korean officials are a bit strict over the changing status. Now, let's discover how Indians can apply for a student visa. Indians need a student visa and to follow the procedures I explained earlier. You are eligible to apply for a Korea student visa from India if you have an admission letter, if you can cover all of your expenses, if you have proof or tie to return to your home country, if you are of a good character and have police clearance certificate, and finally, you are in good health. After gathering the documents I explained earlier, you need to apply to the Korean Embassy in New Delhi. The address is in the description. The Embassy informs you how to get your visa. Alright then, this is all you should know about Korea student visa. Before you leave, download the free cheat sheet from the Visa Library article. It's helpful along the way. Don't forget to like this video and hit the bell, not to miss any updates. If you want us to make more videos about Korea or its visa, write your comments in the comment section. We'll provide whatever information you need. See you in the next video. Thank you all for watching.